Well, here's my take on the collapse of World Trade Seven, uh, World Trade Center Seven. The uh, this is it in fast speed. I'll reset it again, demonstrate it again. Let's set it to slow speed and have a closer look. Reset. Pause. Reset. Well, here it is. World Trade Center 7. World Trade Center 7 was actually quite a complicated building. And I've only had to put in the essence of it because the simulator wouldn't handle... Uh, enough struts to show the whole thing so bits of it are missing but bits of it um, that are missing aren't relevant the uh, as for a start the real one was much much taller but we're limited in height here so this is essentially uh, a shortened version but uh, it demonstrates the principle absolutely fine it's uh, what it shows is the critical bits World Trade Center 7 uh, had a double height trading floor in one of the in part of the structure but more interestingly was the fact that it was built over in a, a substation substation was built in 1967 the, the uh, World Trade Center 7 itself was finished in 1987 I've just set the simulator going in slow motion and uh, what happened was the uh, effectively the st structure across the top of the substation collapsed and uh, the first thing that happened was it dropped the girders that held up the uh, mechanical penthouse there which disappeared and then as the uh, damage spread the whole structure fell notice a lot of stress in that corner as well that's quite interesting because people said uh, they noticed the windows are smashing in one end of the building um, obviously because it must have been flexing excessively at that point and uh, also notice the, the shock waves going through the structure as bits of it hit the ground. Um, those shock waves sound like explosions. Let's run it again, reset. This is actually a bridge. This is actually a bridge simulation program. It's not normally meant for towers. Um, quite, it's called Pontifex. Um, not a very expensive piece of software. It's really quite, but really quite very clever. And I'll just keep running that for the, for the sake of the simulation. Um, let me go to uh, slow again. Reset. And the first thing that happens is the penthouse caves in. No, and the uh, as the supporting structure down there gives way. As the penthouse structure falls through the building, it wrecks that under that under structure gives way further. That deprives the centre of the building of support and drops it straight down. Let's do a reset. A girder doesn't know whether it's been dynamited or whether it has simply failed due to uh, excessive heat stress and. Uh, when they bring a building down, one of the ways in which they bring it down when they dynamite it is simply to knock out the centre first and then let the, uh, the knock out the sides later. Well, when that struck, the construction failed in the middle of the building over the top of the substation, it had exactly the same effect as if the thing had been dynamited. The, uh, when that lot there gave way, it deprived the centre of the building of its support and uh, that caused the columns on either side to overload progressively outwards. That created the sag in the roof, which you can just start to see forming. And then uh, the whole thing then dro drops away from the... Uh, let's speed it up. It's, it's more it's easier to, to notice when it's uh, running faster. And the mouse has disappeared. Oh, that's great. Oh, well. I... Uh, some reason it's made off of the mouse. I've, the mouse is gone, so uh, this will be the last. No, the mouse is stuck. But there you have it.
mouse for some reason is stuck there. I don't know what's happening, but uh, that's the. Uh, so there you have it. One demonstration, perhaps a little bit shorter than anticipated, but uh, essentially it demonstrates what happened. The uh, the structure over the substation failed. That caved in the bit of the building which had the mechanical penthouse on top uh, through the centre of the structure. Then the rest of it, then the middle of the whole building gave way and then finally all of it uh, just came straight down. Because uh, once once the structure fails, the uh, gra gravity is the predominant force and of course gravity just pulls straight down so down it comes. <laughs>